Why is something as basic as cleaning your fly line important? Let's consider the term fly casting. In itself, this is misleading because we don't cast the fly, we cast our fly line. A dirty fly line isn't very efficient. It causes drag as it goes through the rod guides, shortening our distance. And you might even notice it starting to sink, affecting your mending abilities. There are many causes for a fly line to become dirty. Lakes and slow moving rivers have surface film. Insect repellents, fly floatant, and even sunscreen can cause your line to collect dust. Another reason to clean your fly line is to inspect it for micro cracks, torn or cut sections. And always check your leader loop connection. Like you can see this one here, it's broken. So I'll cut this off and I'll tie a nail knot with the perfection loop. You can find that on our other videos on the website. So let's get set up so we can clean our fly line. First of all, just in your sink, just get a couple bowls and run some warm water. Add some soap, just dish soap works really well. Dawn dish soap works good. Just add a few drops to your water. Get it stirred up. Add a rinse water, okay? Once you have your water run and everything, there's a little technique that works really well because this fly line is going to be like 70 feet, okay? So as I'm putting it into my bucket of warm soapy water, I want to look at the line. I want to inspect it, make sure there's no real tears or cracks or anything. But what I want to do is just lay it into the water, kind of stacking it up on top, okay? Push it down in. Keep peeling it off. Let it soak in that nice warm water for a little bit. What this does is it just softens all that, that surface film and grit. Some of those oils, insect repellent, sunscreen, fly floating, that stuff. Just softens it. Ready for removal. But you get your fly line in, set your reel off to the side. Grab you a sponge. Just put on the inside like such. I like to flip it over because I'm right to left. And pull off the top. Okay. What I mean by off the top is that our stacked line here is on top. So as I pull, it comes off. Now I'm laying this over into the rinse water. Just run it through. Again, just Feel in the line every now and then, make sure that you don't feel any cuts or nicks. I can see that I've come into my leader loop, okay? This is another trick part, so I want to hang on to my leader loop. You can dump your rinse or your soapy water. Get that out of the way. Grab your towel. Now we're just going to dry the line off. Again, I just want to look and just kind of do a little inspection. But as I'm drying it off, I want to put it down in, keep it out of the wet water. Just stack it over next to your, your counter here. The reason I hung on to the leader loop though is because now I'm pulling it off of the top of our pile. We're getting it all dried off here. Now we're ready to take our fly line and what I'd like to do is put a cleaner on it. This is a nice cleaner made by Loon. It comes in a two-part system. This is our cleaner and then it comes with a conditioner, a line speed conditioner. So I'm going to apply this cleaner onto a little pad. And I like to have a nice little clean pad here. Just take and put a dollop on there. Grab your fly line and the dollop. Fold over. And again, pull the line just like we did with our rinse water, but stack it on top of each other. Try to make nice little loops there. We're just pulling this through. 
we put our cleaner on. I want to take another towel, run it through again, just to kind of get some of the cleaner off. You can hear the cleanness of it now because it'll start to squeak on you. Notice I'm pulling from top of the pile, putting on the bottom. Just keep pulling it through. We're just taking all that extra cleaner and stuff off. Again, as you're doing this, you'll feel certain things on there. Like if there's a cut or a tear on there, chances are you'll feel it, okay? Now what I want to do is take the second part of our product, our line cleaner, and I want to grab another towel, a little pad. We'll put a bunch of this on there, and I like to put this on there fairly liberally. In other words, quite a bit. Because the second part of this is kind of like car wax. You want to put it on your line, Flip around here, got to pull off the top of the stack. I want to put that on real thick because, like I said, this is like car wax. So you're putting it on and it's putting this uh, the, the material on the line. And what we want to do is just let this dry on here for ideally, it'd be good to let it dry for several hours. I find if I just let it dry there for a few minutes, 15 or so, that you'll notice it has a nice little powder on the fly line itself. So we'll let that rest a little bit and then we'll come right back. Okay, we've let this line now, we've let it settle for about an hour and we have a real nice little powder. The coating, the, the line speed cleaner that we put on it has now powdered up like wax on a car. So now what we want to do is buff that wax off of there. You probably notice right now that it's already smoother and cleaner, it just feels clean. So. Um, take a clean paper towel and again pull it through. You can hear how clean it is already. Kind of like a nice clean window. And again you might find some dirt on this paper towel that just lets you know how dirty and how hard that stuff is on the fly line. So even after we've cleaned it, put our conditioner and our buff on it, we still have dirt and stuff. So anyway that's pretty much all that there is to it. So other than fixing our leader loop connector here where it has broken into the core of the fly line, uh, we still have a pretty good little fly line. It should last me another year. So clean your fly lines as often as you can. There's several little products out there. Like I mentioned, the Loon product is a really good two-part system. I use on, on the river itself, I like using scientific anglers. Um, Rio makes a really nice uh, line cleaner too in a two-part system. I like this um, and Glide. There's another one called Glide which is another real nice uh, product. But what I'll do is I'll just take a old leader packet like this and I'll just take the center out of it. Patch, a chamois cloth or something like that. And I'll just put a whole bunch of this right on here. Work it into the cloth itself. And then I just put that inside of my uh, empty leader packet. And then I'll put that in my fly vest. So when I'm on the river or something like that, if I notice that the line's just kind of feeling dirty or gritty or I can hear it go through the fly guides, then I'll just pull this out, run it through there real quick. Um, then I can get back to fishing. My line floats on the surface real nice like I like it. So hope this has helped. Let us know.